Okay, y'all. So this is a corner of downtown LA. Not 100% sure what street it is, but we're just going to figure this out all together. Look at all of these tents. Look at where people live. Look at pretty much the real downtown LA. I mean, there's other parts, but this is a major part that doesn't really get highlighted all the time, especially when people talk about visiting Los Angeles. They never say, hey, yeah, downtown looks like this. Right, everything is like glitz and glamour in Hollywood, but as you can see, it's not. Yeah, these little tents on the side, uh, draped in these blue, uh, you know, things are actually people's homes. Look at it. All of this is where people live. This is actually the real uh, underbelly of Los Angeles, California. If you look uh, far into the background, you can see the tall buildings. That's actually the downtown everybody knows about. But this is the actual reality. You might not see much of it on film or whatnot, or you know when they uh, when you uh, take like vacation packages uh, on places that you want to visit. So when they pull up uh, Los Angeles and places to go, you see stuff like the Getty Museum. You see stuff like. I don't know, Hollywood Bowl or the Walk of Fame, which, by the way, is not so uh, uh, glamorously uh, 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 shown as it's actually portrayed. But yeah, this is like these are just streets in downtown that I'm kind of just driving through. And I just notice like it's not what, you know, it's cracked up to be, especially when it's advertised to be that way. So yeah, folks, all of these tents right here, this is actual homes. These were, This is where people live. You see this? All of this? This is... And this is something that, you know, some people report on it, but not a lot of people talk about it because of, uh, I don't know, just the overall, you know, wanting to get people to come and spend their money. And, you know, look at this, people are in line. Uh, just waiting for food or to get into a shelter and there's just not a lot of space. and It's just one of those. Uh, I think we're passing 6th Street. I think that's what it just said. But yeah, all of this on the side, all of this debris, all of these, uh, you know, just stuff piled on each other or where people are staying. These are their homes. And I know a lot of people usually leave comments like, uh, oh, like, why are you recording this? Why aren't you like, you know, doing something about it? Like, I'm not a rich man. And when it comes to wealth, I don't, I, you know, I don't have much money. So when I do, uh, when I am able to do anything, I, you know, it might be not that big. Uh, but I at least try to, you know, give a little here and there or, you know, talk to s some or, or you know, give a little money or whatever food I have, you know, like I try to do that to, I mean, hopefully keep them alive uh, so that better days could come for them instead of just dying out here on the streets. I mean, look at this corner right here. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just, it just looks ridiculously crazy because like California has so many rich homes and rich people, millionaires, billionaires, actually. Yet there's not much to do to, I don't know, provide shelters, clean this up a bit. It's just kind of a... Look at this. It's just kind of what's given. This is like, wow. Oof. I don't know. I don't mean to, like, go off and, you know, on a tangent or a, or a you know, just on a rant or anything. But this looks pretty crazy. This looks pretty crazy. You know, and sometimes you wish that there was more that you can do. But a lot of the times you all, you know, the, you know, you could just document it and maybe others that, that are more in power or are able to do more will probably do more. I mean, there's a lot of people doing their part. I'm not going to say that there isn't, but there should be something done maybe even on the government level and this is not a, a a plug in to get anybody to vote or whatnot but it is imperative it is important that we do 
uh, get the right people in office that are uh, passionate enough about this situation to, you know, put forth the right funds or, or the or push the right people towards this that actually want to uh, help out the situation. Because as you can see, almost in every corner of downtown LA and a lot of places in the world actually look like this, you know? I mean, I live here, so I see this as my pretty much my back my 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 backyard, my neighborhood. So it's just it's just really bad. Every corner you can turn to in downtown LA looks like this. You know, it's infamously known as Skid Row. There's like a whole section that's known as Skid Row, but this has really pushed really far and this is what it's looking like. Like, this is the reality of this. This is, wow. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't say enough. I've pretty much been rambling on this whole time about just how all of this looks. But yeah, we have definitely got to do something about this. It, it doesn't have to be on a grand scale. It could be something really small, but we just need to put our best foot forward to uh, focus and possibly get this cleaned up. Because it's, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people, especially the ones that are living in these encampments, not a lot of people really want to be there. And, you know, uh, this is just a situation that's been handed to them. I mean, it could be uh, maybe due to drug use, mismanagement of money, uh, laziness. It could be all of the above. So I'm not saying that it's just one reason why everybody's like this, but California is a very, very expensive place to live. So, uh, yeah, it, it could be. I mean, some of the people aren't even from from uh, California. So uh, some people have come here for their dreams, migrated here from other places or family members have passed away and left nothing for them behind. So there's so much reasons. There's so many reasons why this could have been a thing. I'm just saying we need to, uh, yeah, we need to acknowledge this and not just, you know, walk past or like I'm doing, just record this and not think to do anything more. So I'm just putting this video out. This is uh, maybe my third video of the, the situation. And uh, hopefully we get to do the right thing and put our best foot forward to help fix this problem. Yeah, so... If anyone has any suggestions on things to do, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, and let's bring more awareness to this because ever since COVID, this has been a thing. Even more of a thing, I mean. Not that this is just all of a sudden happening because of COVID, but there have been more homeless cases and uh, visually I've, I've seen more uh, homeless uh, encampments everywhere since COVID. So let's get out there. Let's let's try our best to uh, help out the situation. All right. Hope you guys have a good day. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Peace.